one fight that was actually discussed uh, to actually happen in the 90s um, was a fight between uh, Riddick Bow and Lennox Lewis. Now, Lennox Lewis at that time was actually coming up. I think he was. Um, um, I think there was a broadcast or something going on where um, Lennox Lewis was commenting on one of um, Riddick Bow's fight, and you can actually see this on YouTube. Um, I think Riddick Bow goes right up to Lennox Lewis and they start talking trash to each other. It's quite entertaining to be fair. And um, they're both going back and forth and saying, oh, you, why are you ducking me and all this stuff. And they were literally just going back and forth. And it's good to know that um, in the Olympics, um, I think Riddick Bow won a silver medal. While Lennox Lewis won actually, um, I think he won a gold medal in the Olympics. So it just puts into perspective, uh, Lennox Lewis actually beat um, Riddick Bow in the Olympics quite decisively to be fair and um they were both just looking at each other like oh man we can't wait to get it on but it's come out years later that eddie futch um, a legendary trainer that used to train joe frazier he actually came out recently and said that he actually uh, tried not to make the uh, lennox lewis versus riddick bow fight he purposely tried not to make that fight because he felt like uh, Riddick Bow just didn't have the mental maturity to beat a fighter like Lennox Lewis. And to be fair, to fight a fighter as formidable as Lennox Lewis, I think you kind of do need that. Um, but truth be told, um, if they were to fight back in the 90s, who do I think would have won? I think um, I think Riddick Bow definitely would have had his moments, but decisively i think um lennox lewis would have beaten him and the reason why i think that is because lennox lewis um even during his worst moment managed man it wasn't his worst moment but he did manage to beat him in the olympics so he ha does have that confidence on top of that that's not really like a lot of fighters do say stuff like oh man i beat you in the amateurs i could definitely beat you in the pros that's not necessarily true because there's another fighter that um beat both lennox lewis and riddick bow in the amateurs and the guy didn't actually do anything within the paid ranks and i think i think he was a cuban guy his name escapes me but um i think riddick bow gave him his first knockout loss he was a big cuban guy um you know what let me find out what his name was for some reason names just escape me nowadays hold up <laughs> I think um he was a Cuban guy that had uh, several losses in his record after he uh after he lost to actually he lost to um after he lost to Riddick Bow he he managed to get seven losses on his record um I'm just trying to see where it's at um let me see here it is Jorge Luis Gonzalez yeah this is Jorge Luis Gonzalez actually beat Lennox Lewis and Riddick Bow in the amateurs yeah he never went on to do anything great with his career um that's no slight against him but it's just the truth and it is what it is just because you had a great amateur career doesn't mean yeah that um and you beat certain fights in the amateurs doesn't mean you beat them in the professional ranks but i just think um in light of everything that lennox lewis accomplished in his career i think he would have beaten riddick bow and i think it would um for riddick bow is one of them fighters um that regardless of what you think of him one of his flaws was the fact that he didn't have the best defense he's a fighter that you can actually tee off on um he did he that he had very good inside fighting ability but the one flaw that he had uh, was that his defense was really bad now regardless of what you think about lennox lewis lennox lewis was a puncher and lennox lewis would easily put your lights out at any moment um so i think um if you would have thought um if he would have fought Riddick Bow, I think he would have beaten him. And I think Eddie Futch is someone that knows boxing. He's done it for like 20, 30 years. He he trained the best of the best, like Joe Frazier. And I think if he if he felt like his his fighter wasn't ready for uh, Lennox Lewis, it, there's probably a reason why. Um, obviously, at the time, um, Riddick Bro Bow threw his WBC belt into the bin because he didn't want uh, Lennox Lewis to fight him. Um, but uh, I think I think it's fair to say. Uh, I think um, Lennox Lewis would have actually destroyed Riddick Bow, and I think it would have been quite humiliating for him. But uh, that's just my opinion. What's your opinion? Who do you think would have won a fight between these two? It's a great fight. Um, I think definitely uh, Riddick Bow would have had his moments with his inside fighting ability um, and his just his ability to just fight in general. He was a formidable fighter. The way he beat um, Evander Holyfield so decisively in their three three fights obviously he beat him twice and um evander holyfield won once but he did win that trilogy regardless of what you think um i think it's fair to say that he, he would have gave um lennox lewis a hell of a fight but i think uh, lennox lewis would have came out on top that's just my opinion uh just tell me what you think and like and subscribe to the channel i've got a lot more content coming your way peace out